we're still trying to uh, let him Hello. hear us. Uh, good evening, Mr. Ndebogiri. Good evening. I'm asking uh, what you make of the sentencing of the journalist and the radio panelist. Well, I, I think that uh, uh, it, it, is, it is okay. It is to send a, a, a message to all media practitioners as well as lawyers and social commentators <laughs> that, you know, you cannot just take this freedom of uh, expression and so on to certain uh, length to the extent of, you know, issuing threats to the justices of the highest court of our land. Uh, that, that is that is that cannot be tolerated in our democracy. Mm. Mm. So I think that uh, even though some people may think that the sentence has been or sentences have been harsh, I, I think that it is good that it has sent a message that we should all be careful when we are dealing with uh, the institutions of state. Mm. Uh, I, I will talk about the claims of uh, harshness or leniency, but let me find out from you. Arguments have been made that this could have an effect on media freedom and free speech. Do you think this can have any effects at all on media freedoms and free speech? <laughs> How is it going to have uh, any, any effect Well, it, it could, people. for example, cow people into, into silence because they're afraid if they, they, they speak or say anything close to uh, maybe uh, attacking or expressing views about a certain judge, they could go in also. No, no, no. You see, when a, uh, when a, a matter is before a court, you are to be careful about how you comment on the matter while the matter is live mm. in court. After judgment has been given, you may be free to criticize the judgment and to say whatever you think, you know, was wrong with the judgment. But the import is that while the matter is before the court, when you go about, you know, pro projecting what should happen, and then in the in the final analysis, what do you project? And the media is the media is a very powerful instrument. What you project you project to the public that ought to happen, and it doesn't happen. Then the people who say that something went wrong. Right. I mean, mm. then then then. People begin to lose confidence in the judicial system. That is the problem about contempt. It is not about individual judges or so on. But even to the extent of saying that if you don't do A, we are going to do A, B, C to you. It, it, it's very serious. I don't mm. see how these sentences can impact negatively on press freedoms. On press freedoms, right. I don't the, think the so. I, I, candidly think that it is a lesson to all of us yeah. that we should be circumspect in the manner in which we criticize the, even judgment. If, mm. if the judgment has been given, you are now free to... Right. Ms. Ndebukri, there have also been... Ms. Ndebukri, there have also been concerns... Mr. Ndebugri, uh, sorry, uh, if you can hear me. There have also been concerns emerging that sentencing the owners, directors, and their frequency owner is a bit too much. Uh, do you think they deserve the, 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 the sentencing they got also? Well, um, that, I must admit that that's a gray area. When you yeah, say gray I'm area, you, that, that's a gray uh, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Nebuchadnezzar, when you say gray area, you mean to say it's an area of the law that has not been tested. But four months for uh, these three is also a gray area. Then, if we argue, if we argue by that, why is it a gray area? I, I mean, mean, because we do some know. Some people went and sat there, and then they were threatening judges. Why? Why I'm saying that the matter about the. Uh, the owners of the, 
the uh, media facility is a gray area is that, you know, um, the, the owners would not have been present at the time these statements were being made. And therefore, they, they may not have had the opportunity to intervene and stop what was happening. Right. So uh, I thought that the, if the host, if the host of the program has been punished, I, I thought that it would be sufficient. But right. to extend it to the, to the owners of the media facility, it may be Maybe a, a bit, bit uh, may be a bit difficult for me. Yeah, That's right. what I'm saying. It's a gray area. Right, um, it's a level gray. They were, they, they were not. They, they wouldn't have been able to intervene immediately to stop if what was happening. they were available. Right. Um, Mr. Debugre, I'm, I'm afraid uh, we have to uh, move on. We're grateful for your time. Thanks very much. John Debugre is uh, a legal practitioner. My name is Stephen Ante. You're still watching News at 10.